So right now I've got set up the power follow. I'm actually recording off of the native app. So you can actually do that and it's going to follow me as I record from the native app. You can use that power follow to be able to follow you just like you did on the, the Vision Plus S1 app. What's up my ponyos, Andy with Andy Vlogs. Excited to share with you guys this content here. As the title suggests guys, we're gonna be going over a comprehensive review of the PowerVision S1 three axis gimbal stabilizer. Arguably the world's thinnest, most compact stabilizer. Now, as you guys know, I did a review recently of the DJI OM5, which a lot of people you know, showed a lot of favor for. For me, quite frankly, I didn't like it. From a hardware perspective, it did not satisfy my ability to shoot vlogs from the hip, basically. I'm not in any way, shape or form a professional photographer, but I have a weekly vlog where I need to be able to chase around my kids and that product didn't do it. With that said, I've partnered with the folks at PowerVision S1 to bring you a solution which I think will provide you everything that you need to be able to shoot from the hip when it comes to vlogging. Just in the way of disclosure, they have sponsored this video and provided me complimentary these products. So down below in the links in the description, you can check out not only the device, their cases, their grips, as well as their other solutions uh, to make that cinematography, to make that video just that much more crispy. Without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox the product and jump into the review. Alrighty, let's go ahead here and unbox the PowerVision S1 first, and then we'll get into the accessories. First impressions as I take it out of the box here, it, it it's relatively light, honestly. When you compare it to the OM5, it's not much heavier. That includes a 4,000 milliamp battery, which is going to get you through, you know, pl plenty of charge here, even on the Pro Max. The device itself has a built-in stand. It's obviously three-axis gimbal stabilizer with wireless charging assistant, and it's a really light, sleek yet universal magnetic design. Right there on the front, you can see that Power Vision logo as well as magnetic clip. This is where you're going to be clipping your phone to it if you want to do the up to 10 watt wireless Qi charging. Getting through the rest of the unboxing here, you can see that there's product information, quick start guide. It even has a car mount and charging cable. And there it is, the S1 by Power Vision. This is the black variant. There's two different other colors. There's blue as well as green. This has a really nice brushed metal design. It almost looks like rose gold. It fits in the palm of my hand. It's almost like uh, I, would, I would describe this as the grip for a ping pong paddle. Or uh, almost like a Wii remote if you guys have ever played with the Nintendo Wii. It is lined with this nice leathery grip, which is, you know, very, very pleasing to the touch. Coming around the side here, you've got a couple of the buttons for operating the device, which we'll go over. Obviously, the power button, you got your shutter record button, you've got your joystick to control the three-axis gimbal. It also, the analog stick has a button that depresses, which you'll be using, which I'll go over. And then obviously, the rocker here for your zoom. Coming around the side here, this is the flap where the top actually folds in on itself. You've got the railing here, which is the main support. You've got your servo here. And then around the bottom, you've got your tripod mount here that folds out from the bottom. Almost like a Swiss Army knife. Honestly, that's the vibe that I'm getting here as I'm uh, putting this together. You can obviously see that you can have a quarter inch mount for a tripod if you want to do a little, sh you know, short stubby tripod or even connect it to, a, you know, a legit tripod itself. In my reviews here, I like to uh, show the weight of the device. So we're going to go ahead and place it here on the weight and this is going to show you that it's almost 31 grams. Let's change the unit here to pounds. almost 11 ounces the case that i'm going to be featuring here that connects uh, really seamlessly with the device here is for the samsung galaxy s21 ultra 
What's nice is it comes with a built-in stand that also connects into the device itself to provide stabilization. They do not have the iPhone 13 Pro Max or Pro or any of the other phones there in the, the iPhone 13 series. But look at that. Oh, that is so sleek. It feels solid. Alrighty, let's go ahead and uh, obviously put the phone in the case without wasting more time talking about it. Very, very sleek, very, very slim, just fits right into it, latches right to it. What's nice about this case here is it does have the lip where, uh, you know, it does protrude a little bit, which is nice. If it falls flat on the, the table here, it's just going to be rubbing on the edges rather than rubbing on the screen. I always like that touch. As I mentioned, there's a little tab here, which acts, you know, not only as a, you know, part to connect to the PowerVision S1, but it also acts as a little uh, stand. If you want to use it as a stand on your desk while you're charging, you know, while you're working, you can do it horizontal as well as portrait mode by sliding it all the way down here and having it set like that. Let's show you how to fold it out, put it together and work it on the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. On the back side here, you're going to be flipping it out of a little compartment here. You're then going to be rotating it up. Once it clicks into place, you're then going to be opening and flipping up the servo here. And then you're going to be turning the fourth joint just so slightly, maybe 45 degrees to lock it into position. Close the door latch, and then you're going to be operating it basically like this. Now you got to make sure here that you're you're changing this little bar that, that twists and slides. This is basically the magnetic backing that it's going to be adhering to and connecting to on the device. So you got to make sure that it's pushed up and then flapped down. Then you're able to place the phone right there in the groove. Now that you've done that, you press and hold the power button. It'll activate the servos. And this is the resting position. By pushing the power button twice, you can switch from landscape to horizontal mode. And you've got your three axis gimbal stabilization. If you press in the analog stick twice, it's going to bring you back to the home position. And this is how it's going to look when you're operating the device. For you iPhone 13 folks, you're going to be using the phone clamp, which I highly recommend as an accessory you get for this. Uh, this is going to be pretty straightforward here because, well, it's just a clamp. For the universal clamp here, as you guys can see, it's pretty straightforward. It does support a whole bevy of different widths and sizes. Uh, you just line it right up. Make sure that you follow where you know the camera arrow is pointing, and that's where, honestly, it's going to be... You're basically going to be aligning here the logos. There's also a little notch here at the top. And it'll just magnet magnetically fit on there. And it's just a tight fit. Once it clips on there, you're going to make sure that you get it in that groove. And there, it's, there you have it. You can also opt into this universal phone mount. So if you've got one that doesn't fit, obviously some of the prefabbed or pre-created ones you can definitely use this and adhere it to a case, which I will be showing casing here. Now, some people will opt into actually adhering this to the phone itself. I recommend against it. If you've got a silicone case to be able to mount this to, you know, it would be a good idea. You're gonna make sure that this curve is equal to the camera module there. And there you have it. The last accessory here that I recommend picking up is one of these little mini tripod connectors. What's nice here is you're able to connect it right on that quarter inch mount. The cool thing is, is it actually acts as a little selfie stick. Let's talk about Qi charging. I've got the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. We're going to show you how to Qi charge it. First thing you need to do is make sure that you've got this little pull tag pulled down. That way you can Qi charge. You're going to twist this back over. That way it pulls this thing out from under here. We connect it. It adheres to it. We push it once. You can see the light go on and it beeps and showing you that it's wirelessly charging. All right, now that we've got the universal mount connected to the back of the silicone case that does extend the MagSafe, let's go to show you that you can actually use it to charge. That will allow it to connect nice and snugly to the, uh, the iPhone. And then what you do from here is you go ahead and you press once the power button That'll change it to the wireless charging. And now you can see that it's charging. I now have the universal adapter on the back of my silicone MagSafe case. 
Let's go ahead and show you here how that looks for the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Making sure here that this little lever is put in the right position, I'm gonna make sure and have the lever go all the way up, which will engage uh, the magnetic portion of it. You twist it and put it back into its little groove and allow you to put it into the resting position. Now that I've got it in the resting position, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the case. And now you can see the 13 Pro Max is being stabilized seamlessly. All right, you can search Vision Plus S1 or Power Vision S1. You'll be able to pull up the S1 app that you pair the device to. It's already asking to connect to the S1. Very simply push connect and that's gonna now activate your ability to use all the device. Firmware upgrade completed. Let's head back to where we're headed now. The main thing that you're gonna be worried about here is these two buttons. You've got the power follow, which is that feature where it activates the AI tracking in the background. Well, you can still use live apps like Twitch, Instagram, TikTok, that kind of a thing. But let's go ahead and show you the camera app. Now, first and foremost, we're gonna to touch the camera app and it's a full-fledged camera app. You have a bunch of different features here, like going in and adjusting flash. You can go in and change the different uh, uh, resolutions and whatnot. On the bottom left-hand side here, you can see that it shows you the active ISO as well as the aperture and any kind of brightness adjustment. And then what I recommend doing is the gimbal auto calibration before anything. Here on the video, you've got this little uh, icon here on the side that you can put it in a sports mode, which is basically active track. Uh, right now it's just set in the center of my thing, but if I wanted to, I can have it track the, uh, by dragging and holding, it'll, it'll track that item, that object, as you can see, it's tracking that with ease. As far as uh, you know, adjusting the camera here, I'm gonna be using Tele zooming in. It's gonna utilize the full extent of the camera that it can. It only goes to 6X, and it doesn't necessarily utilize the third telephoto lens. I'm sure with uh, you know future updates, they'll be able to access all the cameras here. Flipping it over to the front-facing camera, you'll notice that uh, there's an icon right above here. This is the gesture control. You push that and it's got a couple of gestures. So you can go like this to uh, have it follow my face for sport. So you can see I'm moving it around. It's got pretty clean gesture control, which I'm really impressed on. It, uh, it is able to follow one face. So if you've got multiple faces here, it's gonna be a hard time doing that. Nonetheless, you put your hand up, it turns off. P sign switches to photo, which I think is a pretty cool touch. Now that I've gone over all the features, installed the app, showed you how to operate the device, let's go outside, put this in praxis, and show you what it looks like. Pongyos, we're on location here with the PowerVision S1. Let's go ahead uh, and now let's put the case on. We affix it now to the magnet, matching up that little groove. Getting you a better look here, this is what it's gonna be looking like when you're gripping it and holding it. I mean, this thing can move around. It, it's still gonna maintain stabilization. I am left-handed and I like to use it with my left hand. When you're controlling the device, you want to have in mind where you're going. So you can kind of point and direct the device where you want to go and it'll follow. Now the roll is completely locked. So we're only talking about the, the tilt and the pan. So one of the axes is, is locked, which is good. That's what you want to do to have a stabilization. Now, so get that same shot we are recording that's really pretty zooming in here we're going to try to get that pan of the light against the silhouette of the leaves which is a pretty fun shot okay so i got the rear facing camera here going i'm just walking i mean i'm actually really uncarelessly walking around and holding this uh, my arms bobbing um i'm walking which when walking, you obviously get the, you know, the thump, the thump as you walk with the camera, but with this gimbal, I mean, it's doing a great job. I've uh, switched over now to the front facing camera. I do not have the active track on, but I wanted to show you what it looks like just walking front facing camera, holding this out here without the extender rod um, and showing you, you know, what that looks like. I mean, you can see me bobbing, but the d device is keeping really clean stabilization as the sun peaks down from the mountains and it goes away and now it's really, really cold. Let's go ahead and run with the device. There's a little jog while holding it. You can see that it's still maintaining 
a pretty nice horizon level jogging here now with the rear facing camera trying to keep it stable it is kind of hip hiccuping a little bit as i'm uh not really focusing very well on stabilizing while i'm running now i've got the rear facing with it pointed at my face i can't see where i'm going i can't see what i'm shooting on my face here but the device is still able to keep a pretty good stabilization there Okay, the last thing I wanted to show you guys is the power follow, which is that really cool feature where you can have your phone in the background live streaming while it power follows you. It's recording my screen here. I'm gonna click power follow and it's gonna get, go through it, the tutorial on how do you put it together. Once I click enter power follow, it's now in that mode where I can then go to another app and record, but it also power follows. The first thing that you need to do is you need to enable the follow mode here by pushing this button. I've already pushed it, hence you can already see that it's recording. Next thing you need to do is you got to get out of the app. And then the, the, next, the third thing that you have to do is you have to set up or enable the follow mode by holding your hand up and you'll hear it audibly click. Right here, I've got it placed down on the, on, the, on the step, and now it's in follow mode, and it's following me. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> All right, we're on the old skateboard here. I do have the tripod holder here that I'm uh, using, um, and then I've got the active track on, which is pretty cool. I'm gonna extend it and see if it'll uh, hold onto my face. Alright, let's see how it works. <laughs> it's not bad. I do really want to have, you know, an adjustable head uh, with this extender pole, but I can hold it out and hold it, you know, from the actual grip. But I also have uh, the tripod out. So right now I've got set up the power follow. I'm actually recording off of the native app. So you can actually do that and it's gonna follow me as I record from the native app. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> so if you wanted to get all of the Apple technology when it comes to the cinematography of the, uh, the Apple native app, you can use that power follow to be able to follow you. So let's uh, skateboard here while it's Tracking my face. Using the uh, the Apple's native app, I think it's fantastic. All right, guys. Next thing I wanted to show you here is uh, what you can do when it's on his tripod and you have the active track, the power follow on. I'm having a hard time tracking my face. If you want, I could do slow mo and try to get a slow mo shot here with this. Here we go. With that said folks, the PowerVision S1 is the mini yet such a powerful 3-axis gimbal stabilizer in the market, which I highly recommend. As you guys know here, this is a sponsored video and this was provided to me complimentary, but despite that, I honestly think it really shines above all of the rest in the market. As you guys know, the OM5 from DJI was just such a bad product that didn't execute well. The features in the app Pell in comparison with their AI tracking and especially that power tracking feature where if you're trying to live stream, you can have this set up and it will follow you in the background. It's so vital for those who love to go on Instagram live, who love to go live on TikTok, YouTube, etc. 
With that said, guys, I can see so many different options and situations where you're going to be utilizing the three axis stabilization, where also you're out hiking on a day hike and you need just a little bit of power to get you to the very end of your trip to make that call. The Power Vision S1 is definitely so versatile in that regard. With all that said and done, guys, if you are very interested in any of these products, down below in the links in the description or up above for the comparison video is something you might be interested in. My name is Andy. Subscribe if you like this content. Hit that like button if you want to see more, and we'll catch you on the next one.